Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me today. Well, they had a magnitude 4.4 earthquake, 66 kilometers east of Cascade, Idaho. 59 people so far today have reported feeling it. Um, it's still coming in. Reports are still coming in. I, it only happened maybe about an hour ago. And it's currently 7.37 a.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. Today is Thursday, May 21st. Felt reports were near Boise, Idaho. There's the earthquake. We got Caldwell and McCall, it looks like, up here. Here is that earthquake and what it did to the caldera there at Yellowstone. A lot of heat came up. A lot of hot gases came up. Look at that. And hot water. Well, look at the signature right there. Let's pull this over. Yeah, long P wave. Yeah, first comes um, the P wave, which is uh, a wave of an earthquake that travels directly through the earth. And then comes the S wave, which travels around the outside edge of the earth, the surface. You can kind of think of uh, S for surface and P for uh, um, whatever. <laughs> uh, earthquakes there at Yellowstone are still continuing. We got another one right here that's kind of small. Um, at 4:05. Now this is universal time, and it looks like let's look at the signature. Yeah, it's hard to tell if there's P waves or if there's S waves in there, or if it's just a series of earthquakes. Got another one there. Yeah. I've talked about all the earthquakes that were happening in Idaho. I believe it's caused by this uplift and the magma that's coming in from the Snake River Plateau. Even though USGS will say it's got nothing to do with that. But there was a 4.4. That was 11.6 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 7.2 miles um, down all earthquakes are measured from sea level. There was also a 3.4, a 2.5, and then the only one that I see that, well, we got a 1.5 there at Yellowstone. Let's zoom in a little bit for that. Okay. Alrighty. 1.5 uh, there at the park along the... Uh, Madison River, Norris Junction Plateau, 4.9 kilometers in depth. So that would be uh, 3.4, uh, I think, or 3.0 miles in depth. That would be in the upper magma chamber. Now this was yesterday, and there was also another 1.5, same location. A 0 0.8, where is that at? I don't see it. Um, yesterday also, uh, 5.3 kilometers in depth, and then on the 19th, a 0 0.7. Again, this is the western boundary. We'll pull this up and look at some of the activity that was going on. This one here at, oh, 7.30 and 15 seconds. Marked in red, so the computer picked it up. Let's look at the signature. Um... It could be two earthquakes because we got two lines in red here. Or it could be a P wave from Idaho. But it is not being reported. So, yeah, your guess is good as mine. But a lot of heat came up. What else we got here? Yeah, that one definitely was in Idaho. We can see that it's got a long P wave. This one does not, so it was probably there at the park. 1254. There's its signature. That would be the 1.5 that occurred there at the Madison River Norris Junction area. And this one here is the other 1.5. There's its signature. But there was what they call blobs of magma coming in. Yeah, heat was rising up prior to that earthquake. It started somewhere right in this area, then continued across. Yeah, look at all the heat. 
And I've talked about the line of melt. We've definitely got one there. Yeah, lots of magma was coming into the system. It's currently trying to snow there at Yellowstone. Yeah, they got snow on the roof of the um, hotels. They're supposed to open, I believe, six. Um, yeah, everyone has their own opinion about opening up, but um, this virus is not going to go away until everybody has been exposed to it. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, it's kind of cold there. The tilt meter for the Norris Junction area. Yeah, they fudged with the uh, charts again. So it's hard to see what's going on. Um, this shows us what kind of uplift or subsidence is happening there. And Yellowstone is one of the uh, few volcanoes. There, in fact, there's only five volcanoes around the world that they're tracking what the magma is doing under the ground. X is north, Y is east. This is um, underground tracking. And that's for the last seven days. Then we got the last 30 days. Yeah, really hard to tell what's going on. Remember the last video that I did? I talked about how this trend of earthquakes, the magma flow, had made a, a sudden turn. Each dot is an earthquake that caused uplift panther now these all come from bore holes very deep wells under the ground so they're they're not affected by anything on the surface um, x is north y is east last seven days and remember i was talking about the trend of the magma under the ground heading east and then we got the last 30 days looks like we got data missing there yeah, heading east. Ground deformation for the Madison River area. Again, these are bore holes, B207. Last seven days. And then the last 30 days. We definitely have uplift going on in that area. See that? Top is north, bottom is east. Another monitor for Norris Junction, a little concerning borehole 205 because it's going down slightly yeah we don't want the uh, roof of the caldera to collapse and we, we definitely got a change in the last week in the direction of the magma and then the last 30 days see that we're gonna have to keep an eye on this and I do look at that look at the trend that's been happening at Norris Junction in the last 30 days. The top of the caldera has a cap of rhyolite. So because the uh, gases and magma can't break through right now, that rhyolite cap, what is happening is that the magma is spreading out horizontally. It's been doing that for quite a few years. Those that have followed me over the years will remember I talked about how this magma is flowing horizontally. Yeah, I would say this would be a definite indication of that. Previously, it had been having an eastward trend, but now it has really changed. Moving a little bit more south under the ground. I've talked about the trees that have died off, the trees that grew up during the quiet period of Yellowstone. I noticed that they got one that it's um, very it's a very large tree it's tap root broke and its whole root system that was up by the surface of the ground actually pulled up see that there here we have the monitor for the western boundary and here is that 4.4 uh, 4 earthquake that occurred and then they've got another one here yeah, it shows up pretty small, but well, let's look at the spectrogram. Looks like we got three, and one of them's marked in red. And then we got some more recent earthquakes when I pulled the files. Again, this is the western boundary. All right, and then we'll come up. Yeah, you know, that there's that blobs I think of magma. We got one, two, three, four, five there marked in red. When they're marked in red, it means that the uh, computer picked it up. 
and that's for the geologist to come in and review it. I don't see um, an S wave on them, so they did occur there at oops at the park. And then we got another one, oh, several of them. Yeah, got one there. Yeah, look at the heat that came up. And we got another one there marked in red. Yeah, the activity has been continuing, and I continue to watch it every day. Yeah. Got another one marked in red there. Look at the heat. Yep. And another one there. Let's see. that The one they did report was, what, at 12-something. Small one there. Lots of activity continues. Everything is a okay, right? Yep. Look at the heat. You know, all the way from Cascade, Idaho. Look how it shook up the caldera. Looks like we got one of the uh, hot poles um, gushing away today. And they're moving the camera around throughout the day to look at different things. So this one was at 7 oh, uh, 7.30 Universal Time, which probably was a 3.1 that occurred there in Cascade, Idaho. Again, this was along the uh, Sawtooth Mountain Range. This supposedly was a 1.5 that occurred there along the Madison River area. But according to the monitor at Norris Junction, um, it could have been as large as a 1.95. Uh, Madison River, they got 1.29. Another monitor for Norris Junction, 1.95. Yeah, I, I don't know. I would say it was larger. We did have a lot of heat and magma. So we got um, the signature of the heat or magma way down here. And then we got the gases. Of, see the, the light blue streaks going up yeah that's heated water and gases this earthquake at 13 uh 28 almost 13 30 is not being reported here we have two earthquakes blobs of magma coming in this too is not being reported look at the heat and yeah, we got the lines of melt there and what else another 1.5 occurred at 1919 I would say that was significant because look at this. We got one there marked in red. We got another one marked in red at 1921. Another one at 1923. There was a series of earthquakes here, but they only reported one. And supposedly, yeah, it was a 1.5. I think it was more significant. Yeah, they're saying that was a 1.5, but... They left out all the other earthquakes afterwards, the little small minor earthquakes. Yeah, and these are harmonic tremors or volcanic tremors. It's an indication that magma is on the move. Well, we can see that because it's large blobs of magma. Anyways, we'll come down here. Yeah, more heat. Another one there at... 2225 yeah that was there at the park no p wave um not being reported again this is the uh, monitor for maple creek yeah there's just so much going on that they don't tell us about want you to believe that everything is a okay send everyone to the park yep we're going to open it um yeah, this coming month, I believe. Yeah. Front row seats, right? <laughs> so, anyways, I'm trying to get this line here. Yeah, this was at 4.4. Um, yep, everything is normal. And then these, I don't think have been reported yet. None of these. 
Yep, everything is A-OK. -okay. Look at the heat. Yeah. See, they haven't reported anything since that 4.4. The camera's shaking a little bit. You can see the snow coming down here on the live webcam. Uh, another one of the geysers going off. You have to keep an eye on it because it really shook up the caldera, that earthquake there in um, Cascade, um, Idaho. Yeah, it really shook it up. What I want to find, what I'm expecting is a hydrothermal um, explosion that would definitely happen before the um, eruption of Yellowstone um, but they depend on what they call boots on the ground people visiting the park um, to give them reports of any new um, hydrothermal activity explosions but with the park closed they don't have that um, yeah, you know, they did have that one woman that snuck into the park, what, a week ago and fell into one of the pools and got burned. Um, maybe some of you had heard about that. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If you have thoughts or comments or questions, you can put it down below. Thank you for your support. Um, please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. And I will talk to you later. God bless you.